Hello and welcome to Boy Sports. You're in Sports Station on YouTube. Today we are going to do a little bit of politics. There's something trending so hard between the MPP and the NDC. So I want us to talk about it. We're going to take some few minutes of our time. So let's just stay glued to our screens and let's enjoy this. Now let's start questions. Start by. He says questions for John Mahama. Questions for John Mahama. So he says questions for Mahama. I have just read questions posed to me by former President Mahama. I would have thought he would be man enough to face me in a one-on-one -on -one debate for the Kenyan public to assess our respective policies. You see, all this while Baumia is pushing the agenda that uh, uh, Mahama should come for a debate, and um, Mahama so is saying that he is not fit to debate him. So it's like then, then that is where the debate side comes, and he says that. Achievement, uh, okay, respective policies, achievement, and vision. He should not hide behind these flimsy. So he called the five questions flimsy questions, and he says to avoid a debate, come to a debate, and I can ask the moderator to ask me these five flimsy questions. But I have many more substantive questions for him. <laughs> I have so many substantial questions for him. So this is where the questions come in. Number one, hey, assembly. He says, can you name any broad-based social intervention policy that you implemented as Ghana in Ghana as president? He said one. Just mention one uh, broad-based intervention. Hey, in, uh, before the other one intervention, he had you know there. So he has said that NDC with John Mahama did not even bring out even one implementation, broad based imp implementation, because they, they can boast of three SHS, but NDC cannot even boast of even one. That's number one. Number two, why did you run adverse against three SHS? So apparently, Mahama did an advert or paid for an advert against three SHS. So he's asking why and why. Did you run an advert against free SHS? Another question, UCC questions. And he says that if you think your uh, your economic management was so good, how come we experienced more than four years of doing so under your government? <laughs> oh, he assembly. He says that if your economic was good, so why did we experience doom? That's number three. Number four, why did the banking sector almost collapse under your government? Number four. Number five, why did you cancel teacher training allowance? Mm. I remember it was cancelled and they campaigned with it when they were coming to power that they will restore it. Yes. And number six says that why did you cancel nursing training allowance? Another one again. So uh, teachers and training allowance was cancelled and they are asking why did you cancel it? And he says that. Why did the National Ambulance Service virtually collapse under your government? Is that why was your government unable to create even a quarter of the jobs that your government has created? Again, why did your why was your government unable to create even a quarter of the jobs that our government? So it means that the MPP has created more jobs that the MDC couldn't even create a quarter of it. Mm. And he said that how many nurses, teachers, police officers, immigration officers, and seven personnel did you recruit as president? Hey, why did you implement the three month pay policy for teachers under the government or under your government? So it's, he's saying that for teachers, he implement three month pay. So you work for like two years, two years, and you pay only three months. Mm. Okay, so number 11 says that why did you cancel the car import duty waiver for teachers and nurses? Mm. Mm. So there was a waiver for teachers and nurses, but chairman cancelled it. Okay, okay, number 12. Why was average agriculture growth under your government 2.9 percent less than half with it under our government? Mm hmm. Why was industry growth under your government lower than it is in our government? Number 14. 
why was the overall GDP, uh, uh, GDP growth under our government lower than under our government? Oh, really? Number 15, why did your government have no industrial policy for Ghana? Mm. So they are, they, with this one, they are, they are, they are boasting of 1D1F. Okay. And he says that, do you think your, uh, our government has constructed four times more roads than your government did? Okay, for rules, uh, I think that the, the MPP government has done well. This one is, 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 is a fact. Wherever you are, there has been a rule that <coughs> has been uh, constructed over there. I don't know for where you are, but let me know if your, your rule has been constructed in wherever you are. And number 17 says that, why do you think our government has constructed and is constructing more hospitals than your government did? This one is talking about Agenda 111. Yes. Uh, but I can know one some are saying that it was it, it, it is not it is it is just a flimsy policy it, it is not done but let me know where you are uh, it's just going on where I am I can be, I, I, I am closer to two districts and I can be bold to say that all the two districts um, there have been I have seen it that it's not completed but it is it is being built over there so number 18 says why do you think uh, our government has constructed and is contracting more schools than your government did Hey, in some, ah, but my mama also built the 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 e blocks. He did build a lot of e blocks. Even where I am, there's an e block around. So they also build e blocks. They did a lot of e blocks. Come on. So this one, the this question eighteen, I think it is cancelled out. Yeah. So why do you think uh, our government has constructed and is constructing more fishing land sites? than your government with this one? I don't have much about this. So I want to comment much about this. He says number twenty. Why do you think? Your government has constructed and is constructing more courts than your government did. More courts, more court rooms. Okay. 21 also says that. Why do you think our government has constructed and is constructing more public libraries than your government did? So with a public library, where I am, I've not seen any public uh, library around. Let me know what you also think in the comment section. Okay, number tw uh, 22. What do you think our government has why do you think your, our government has constructed more sports facilities than your government did? So they are saying that they are boasting of sports facilities that they have done more than the, uh, the NDC, that is the AstroTurf and the, uh, whatnot. Okay, so number 23 says that why do you think our government has constructed and is constructing more airports? So with the airports, I can say that uh, they completed the one at um, the Kumasi, they made it an inter international airport and also the Cape Coast one is being under construction. So that's what I know. Okay. So number 23, you say that why do you think our government has constructed and is constructing more airport? Okay, we have done that. 24, why do you think our government has constructed and is constructing more uh, equipped, more TVET institution than our government did? So TVET, you say that they are equipping more of the TVET school. You say that why do you think our government has constructed and is constructing more interchanges? More interchanges, we know that um, um, uh, Mahama did the Dubai, that's a circle. I don't know for any other interchange that they have done. So let me know in the comment section if you know of any. 27 says that why do you think our government has constructed and is constructing more uh, sanitation facilities? I don't know of this one. I can't say much about it. But let me know of in the comment section if you have any idea about the sanitation that they are doing in your area. Number 28 says that, talking about a recycle plan, say that why do you think our government has constructed and constructed more waste recycle plants than your government did? Why do you think our government has improved 70% of more scholarship, uh, provide 70% more scholarship to students than your government did? So they are saying that they have given 70% more than what they did. Okay, number 30 says that why do you think our government has constructed and is constructing more infrastructure in the Kusongo communities than your government did. Okay, so uh, if you know you are in the Zongo and uh, there's a facility going on, let me know. It says that why do you think, um, uh, why do you think our government has provided more vehicles and equipment to the security services than your government did? So it's talking about vehicles given to police and the. Uh, okay, so we've seen pictures that. They have equipped them so many uh, with so many equipment. Okay, so 32. So why do you think 
our government has constructed and is constructing more hospitals than your government did. Hospitals, we know that Agenda 111 is here and it is giving uh, some districts more, uh, more hospitals. Where I am now, I'm close to two districts and I can boast, boldly say that all the two districts are, uh, uh, Agenda 111 is going on. It's not completed yet, but it is going on. Number 33 says that, number 33 says that, why, how come your government was unable to issue a significant amount of national identity card. Mm. So it means that even one who they were not able to give, that's the NDC. But they came and a lot of people have received Ghana card. Good, that's okay. 34 says that why was your government unable to deal with problems of ghost names on the government payroll? Mm. Number 35, during your period as president, 4% of Ghanaian adults had tax identity numbers. Our government has increased it to 85. Where, why were you unable to do similar? Wow. Wow. So that's the Ghana card. If you have a Ghana card, your Ghana card number is your tax identity number. That is what is coming now. Okay. So you say that why was your government unable to decretize the operation at the port? To reduce corruption okay they have digitalized okay 37 it says that why was your government unable to solve the problems of lack of a functional ghana wide property address system wow address system okay 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 number 38 says that why was your government not able to solve the problems to access to financial inclusion like we have wow number 38 says that Sorry, 39. What help did your government provide children suffering from cancer, sickle cell, and patients and people needing kidney dialysis? Wow. wow. So it means that these people have solved issues of uh, to deal with people having uh, uh, people needing kidney dialysis. Okay. Number 40 says that why did you? Fulfill only 28% of the promises on your 2012 manifesto. So they are saying that the manifesto that NDC brought in 2012, they were able to fulfill only 28%. Hey, uh, 70. 41 says that what measure did your government implement to address the problem that people have in paying rent advance? Channel Red Advance is killing us in the country. Someone will tell you, I want three years, I want two years. So he's saying that what did your government did to solve that? Uh, situation. I've heard that there is a new law about rent coming whereby you have you can pay up to the six months. So we hope that it's going to work and it will, it will help us, yeah, so that you can rent the room that you want. If it is a big room and you're waiting for six months, you know that six months is six months or three months is three months, then you just move. Yes, okay. So he said, number 42 says that what did you do to help people who had difficulty in enrolling, uh, if di difficulty in enrolling for or renewing their national health insurance membership so you see at first when you you have to renew uh, or enroll you have to be in a queue renewer 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 we could deal with your part but now you just type star 929 then you are renewing oh so i think that question is okay so for the trade what did your government do specifically to promote the creative art and tourism i don't know about anything uh, any, anything about that i don't know for you let me if you, if you have something just let me know 44 says that what did your government address the the problem of getting emergency drug he's talking about the zip line yeah to remote areas or uh, yeah remote areas so he's talking about zip line so number 45 says that how did your government address the problems of tertiary students who couldn't access students loan okay so it means that when they were in the now that they are in power okay students loan because they could not find guarantee so now student loan is without guarantee now number 46 is that it's a quite lengthy so uh, let me let me just take my time and read uh, number 46 says that as vice president i have initiated hmm, or champion policies such as one constitution one ambulance Agenda 111, Medical Drones, Zongo Development Fund, E-Pharmacy, Ghana Card, Digital Property Address System. 
mobile money interoperability, paperless port, no guarantor student loan, Ghana.gov, Citizen app, Go Ride, Go Gold for Oil, Bank of Ghana Gold Purchase Program, District Road Improvement Program, etc. Aish. And the question is, can you tell Ghanaians what policies you champion or initiated as vice president? Hey, in St. Paul, Mwadabraka, 47 says that why were you unable to implement free technical and vocational education as we have done? 48. Why was your government unable to absorb examination registration fees for BEC and WASI students? Hmm. Number 49 says that can you provide one coherent explanation to your 24 hour? Hey, suppose policy and you ask a question about it. That they should provide explanation about it. Okay. Number 50, the last question says that what specific measure did you implement or combat to oh, sorry to combat corruption during your tenure as president so these were the 50 questions that dr mahmoud baumia asked um the former president of the republic of ghana